There have been many evolutionary milestones in the history of life. One that has had an extreme impact is that of the development of the jaw. Nowadays, having jaws allows carnivores and herbivores alike to consume a wider range of food, to hunt larger prey, to graze on plants and to pierce armour. History has let jaws diversify into a variety of forms. Some animals, like crocodiles, focused on their ability to put immense strength behind their bite, where others rely on versatility, having specific alterations to suit their lifestyle. You might associate jaws with teeth today, however the first jaws did not, in fact, possess them. Instead, they relied on the weight of their skull to present a tremendously powerful bite. The evolution of jaws and fish allowed them to dominate the food chain. The jaw first appeared during the Silurian period, approximately 430 million years ago. This innovation was crucial to their success in the Devonian, leading to the age of the fishes, 50 million years later. The first jawed fish were Ancanthodians or spiny sharks. Their jaws are thought to have been forged from gill arches called pharyngeal arches. Over time, two of the gill arches fused with the skull to become the upper and the lower jaw bones. Placodermy were one of the earliest predatorial jawed fish and are more commonly known as the armoured fish. One of the biggest members of this family was known as Dunkleosteus, a six metre monster that hunted in the shallow oceans with a bite force of roughly 41,000 pounds. Instead of using teeth, it used razor-sharp bones extending from the skull that closed on prey in a scissor-like motion. This top predator had evolved powerful biting action, allowing it to excel as an apex predator. But what it had in power, it lacked in efficiency. This jaw expended a lot of energy due to its weight and size. While it was a notable beginning, new innovations were yet to come after animals conquered the land. As powerful jaws dominated the sea, it appeared the jaws of terrestrial animals would continue to follow the same approach, favouring sheer force all the way up through time, until we come to the peak of power, the infamous T-Rex. T-Rex was the apex predator of the Jurassic, with a bite force of 8,000 pounds. This is the strongest bite of any animal to ever walk the earth. It seems like strength and power would be the defining feature of jaws throughout history. That is until we come to the Paleocene, when a new apex predator roamed the land who had a completely different approach. Titanoboa was a behemoth among serpents, weighing in 2,500 pounds and an astounding 48 feet in length. While Titanoboa was undoubtedly powerful, its jaw had been modified to favour flexibility over strength. This was an immensely successful strategy that can still be observed in today's serpents. Snakes have the ability to open their mouth a whopping 150 degrees for the consumption of extremely large prey. In addition, the lower jaws are unfused at the front. This enables the lower jaw to come apart for an incredibly wide bite. The unfused jaw also enables the two halves to move independently from one another, which enables the snake to walk over the body of its prey. The mammals split from the reptiles approximately 225 million years ago, during the mid-Jurassic. One of the major divergences between the two classes can be seen when we look at the jaw. The quadrate and anticular bones are points of movement in the reptile's jaw. However, these bones moved into the inner ear of the mammal to form two additional ear bones. This reorganisation was a result of a novel jaw joint in the mammal known as the dentary squamosal joint. This allowed far greater manipulation of food in the mouth, ultimately allowing a more sophisticated form of chewing that isn't seen in reptiles. While not unique, mammals also possess a wide variety of dentitions, with many classified tetradons. There are four main forms of teeth, 
incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Not all mammals have the whole set. Herbivores rely on molars to grind and crush vegetation. Predators use their canines and incisors to tear and grab prey. Mammals have evolved the ability to chew, and this helps speed up digestion, which is important in warm-blooded creatures. Since the first appearance of jaws and vertebrates, its design has expanded and diversified into a vast array of forms. Some designs favour strength, relying on a strong bite to catch and to wrestle prey. While others focused on flexibility, allowing them to swallow prey much larger than themselves without the need to chew. The benefit of having a jaw is inextricably linked to the utility and versatility it offered its owner. From catching to manipulating food, the jaw is an incredible piece of engineering that has helped shape the animal kingdom as we know it today. I wonder, without the jaw, what sort of animals would sit at the top of the food chain today?